Hello, I'm Jürgen Bellmann from Sophistic and today I would like to show you what you should or what you must take care of when you make a tendon optimization generally in bridge design but especially on using Sophistic. So what possibilities of optimization do we have? We can change the number of tendons and the number of wires in the dialog box pre-stressing system and of course the material. Then we can change the geometry. In midspan of course we are very low, over the middle support very high, but here we can change. We could move down this point a little bit and now let's see what happens. If we take this point, the tendon is on the bottom, we get this curvature and we get this overall deformation if we would take away the middle support. Now we must pull down this point to the original support and this gives the secondary or parasitic part of pre-stress. And if we stay longer on the bottom, we get more curvature also here, a more uplift and a higher parasitic bending moment. So how can we use this? The primary part of pre-stress in the mid-span or over the middle support we cannot change. This is a fixed level and the level for the bending moment over the middle support is not very high because the center of gravity is high. So we only get a smaller bending moment P0. But the bending moment from dead load is very high. And now comes the secondary part of pre-stress. With this additionally secondary part of pre-stress we can help our middle support. The next thing we can change is the pre-stressing level. Let's have a look at our input in Sophie Plus. We look to our tendon and see here a value K3 that is 0.75. This is a very high pre-stress. But if we apply this high pre-stress we would end up in a high tendon stress at traffic opening. Usually at traffic opening, depending on the national index, 0.65 FPK is allowed only, that is 1209. Now between stressing and traffic opening we have some creep and shrinkage. We think maybe 6% loss of creep and shrinkage until traffic opening and so we may input here 1280 at the index K3. Let's first keep the original input K3 0.75. We now export our system and we can check the first CSM construction stage run. Please notice that you can insert a beam for the check print here by clicking to the animator, clicking an element and say finish selection. Now we look to the report, first to the pictures. We see the stress due to dead load alone, then dead load and pre-stress and then creep and shrinkage. And we see without any further loading we have a tension here, so the decompression check can not be okay if we do not do anything. So we go back to our Sophie Plus, look to the tendon and here in this geometry we can now choose 15 wires and for the second geometry I also choose 15 wires, but in addition I tell the program here to use two tendons at this location. So we have two tendons here and one here and one here, so four in all. Now we again export our system and just run only the CSM part. Looking to the report and to the pictures, 
we now see it's a little bit better, no tension here. If we now go to the text output, please look to the AQB check print and select here the nominal stresses. Here in this table we see the single load cases and the sum of all load cases. Nearly everything is under compression, but at traffic opening, this is this line, the stress in the tendon is 1320. That is more than the allowed 0.6 FPK. So we go back to our pre-stressing system and tell the program here in the task to use only for K3 1280. We now again make an export and run the CSM. If we look to the report, we can again look to the check print and we see at traffic opening we only have 1240. That is much better now. So the first CSM check print looks not so bad and we can now calculate all until we come to the decompression check. This, sorry, may take some time because you may have also ELA influence line evaluation for the traffic. At the end we open the report of the decompression check. The first picture shows the decompression check on Eurocode on 100 mm distance above and below the duct for the permanent situation Pika inf sub. We have a little bit of problem here in midspan, but the big problem is over the middle support. We can look to the next pictures. The stress on the top surface, we have here a tension, but compression on the top, that's clear. Here we have a little bit tension on the bottom. And now what shall we do? We go back to Sophie Plus, open our pre-stress table. First we change here this to 1250 because we had 40 loss of creep and shrinkage so this would be okay now. We go to the geometry and now insert here a straight part of maybe four meters here and six meters here. Now the tendon is on the bottom a long way and only here over the middle support it is going up. The same of course here and the same for the other tendons. I exported the system and run everything and the decompression check now looks much better. Nearly zero here, 0 0.12 here as we have more secondary part of pre-stress. Now a last change. I go back to Sophie Plus and input here in the geometry maybe 19. Okay. After export and running all, we now first check the stress at traffic opening here in the table normal stresses and now we have 1220 that's okay. We also can check over the middle support because here I made an input with another beam number and if I look to this report I also can first look to the plots that is dead load and pre-stress, pre-stress and creep and shrinkage. Looks not so bad. In the results we can check the normal stresses at traffic opening. Okay, 1160, that's okay. We go to our final decompression check and look to the plots and we find only very, very little tension over the middle support. But here we could say that we have a little rounding of bending moments at this point. Also, the surface stresses on top are okay and on bottom are okay. Here tension is allowed because here the tendon is on the upper side of the section and not here. So we have finished our optimization. So thanks for listening and goodbye.